Again, fellas, here we go. Something completely different. Helios. This one's the goddess. Ravishing red rye. Red rye ale, 6.3%. I'm sure to give it a crack. That's, someone commented on my one of my videos on the red pout, which I've had a, probably got a couple of videos on it because I love the beer so much, so does he. Uh, I can't think of his name. A bit of a hangover this morning. At Stevie's house on the big session yesterday. It was good. It's weird when I drink with mates. Don't have any heart problems. And the missus around bitching and whinging. Stress city. You're all fucking kidding. Might be going to Indonesia soon. If I do go, I'm thinking of staying there on an extra week on my own, going to a place called Bandun, I think it's pronounced. Or Borobudur, or both. So I'm going to have to have a chat to the missus when she gets home. See what she thinks of that. Ah, why not? I'm going to go to Indonesia. I don't want to fucking fly home in three days. And I won part of the quaddy yesterday, so I've got 700 spender money, so that's looking all right. I'll have to look up accommodation and cost for the bus or the high-speed train. And for Borobudur, I haven't even checked that out. I don't know how far that is. I don't think that's close either. Might be a short plane trip. Anyway, bit of studying before the adventure. I haven't been to Indonesia since 87. A long time ago. First time in 83. Hmm. So it's changed a little. The wee whis whisker. Well, got to like that. Yum. It's an ale. It's not an IPA. Well, 6.2, it's getting up towards that. But it tastes really rye central. Like that aftertaste, having rye toast. Pretty trippy. Oh, it's good though. It's really good. Could have something different, and I like the reds. The cat down there. It's only a little one. That's all right. Out on the hunt. Lots of birds around. Is this quick enough? Yeah, I've seen that cat before. It's two houses away. Our cat went off its head. One day when the cat come over and it's our cat saw it out the door and you've never heard a noise like it. It was unbelievable. Went off the brain. Oh, that's a slinky cat. It slinked all the way up there. Beautiful. Well guys, lovely day. I was thinking about telling you some travel stories where a Nelly died. Like Kosamui. Just got off the guts. For a bit too long and decided it was time to get off the island and went to the airport the lady said you're not booked on this flight i said oh, i thought i was she said oh no it's probably tomorrow she said there's one seat available though if you want to take it today i said yeah bloody oath so i flew off and the next day she was dead the plane crashed everyone died how's that one so you just have these feelings. Same in Guatemala. Everyone got off the bloody plane and run for the bus to go to Antigua. So they get the good rooms. And Julian was all ready to go. And I said, look, Julian, who the fuck? We'll find a room. We're not going to stay long anyway in Antigua. We're going to 
go in and then meet her mate, take off straight away and then come back later maybe. So we went down there after we had a lunch and walked around town, went to the museum and checked out all the Guatemalan stuff in Guatemala City. And then we had drinks with some locals that were talking about the government and corruption and all that. And yeah, a bit of ethnic cleansing going on with the Mayans. It wasn't really good. And then it was like, um, oh, let's go. And off we went. We got to Antigua about six o'clock. And on the way, they were dragging people up this hill. The bus we were going to catch crashed. I think three people died and a lot of people injured. And I was still pulling them up when we come, and that was like three hours later. So I'm glad we didn't get on that bus. So that's what travelling's like. That was with Julian, and he sort of knew he was going to die overseas. And he kept saying, oh, we made it, or I made it, we made it. And I looked at him like, what are you fucking talking about? And we nearly died together about oh, half a dozen times, at least. Just things saved us, but not him. He died about 40. That's fucking 60 years, that's 20 years ago now. Bloody hell, he died in Cambodia. We reckon they took his kidneys. Anyway, that's what Cambodia was like 20 years ago. Pretty rough and ready. Anyway, I'll leave you with that. That's the Helios, it's full, full strength. And it's not... It's not sweet at all. I'll have to tell you a few more of these times I escaped death. A few with Julian and Graham and Colin. The old mate that passed away last December. That was cruel. Anyway, life goes on for some of us. All right. Fellas, have a great afternoon. Cheers.